Yeah. Ha ha. Can you say woof woof? Mm -hmm. Good girl. Hi, I'm Walker Zimmerman, and this is Bear, and this is Meet the Pets, presented by Pepperoni. This is Bear. She's a standard Bernadoodle, and she's going to turn two years old in December. Uh, she's been a, a really great addition to our family, and clearly has the, the sneezes here this, this morning. I've always wanted a dog uh, ever since we've gotten married, uh, my wife and I, and she kind of was like, only when we have a yard. And so as soon as I got traded from LA to Nashville, sure enough, less than a year after we moved, we got Bear. Bear attempts to play soccer. I kind of try and make her, her knees buckle by like a little fake here and there. Bear's a really good training partner. Honestly, she's a great defender. She's quick, she's agile, and she definitely does make it easier for me to get by her. And the teammates love her. She came out of the fields a couple times, tried to chase after some Frisbees, chase after the ball a little bit. They, they love Bear. And, I think she loves them too. She doesn't really not love anyone. Is she licking your toes? Representing the United States has always been one of my biggest goals and, and dreams, especially on the world's biggest stage. And so for me to have the opportunity to do that in November in Qatar, uh, I'm buzzing, I'm excited. And you know, we're starting to look at video, starting to look at film of our opponents and starting to kind of hone in on key players, key matchups. Some of my biggest accolades in my career are two times Defender of the Year, three times Best 11, three times All-Star, and captaining my country in multiple tournaments and, and qualifying. One of the cooler moments in my career was scoring the first goal for Nashville in their uh, club league's history. And so there's a lot that has been accomplished, but I think all of it still has been chasing this goal of playing in Qatar in 2022. Final countdown now. I absolutely wish I could bring Bear to Qatar. You know, I think she would have provided a lot of good vibes for the team. She would have increased the mood, definitely would have helped people relax and have some fun out there. Bear is such a great companion and I love rewarding her with treats and pepperoni is definitely at the top of that list. <laughs> There's the sound. Bear is a sucker for pepperoni. She loves treats and you can tell she will do anything for a pepperoni treat. Bear loves both the original beef and the beef short rib. Doesn't really discriminate against one or the other. It makes it really easy for me not even to have to look at which one I'm grabbing. Bear, let's see how many you can do. Bear, come. Sit. Good girl. Shake. Good shake. Good shake. Lay down. Stay. Stay. Okay, come. Bear's, Bear's a puppy still. You know, she's not two yet. So she uh, she's still working on listening, working on all of her commands, but she's gotten so much better uh, as a one to two year old versus zero to one. She's really sweet. She's amazing with Tucker, who's our 14 month old son. And they really get along super well. And it's just fun to watch them love being around each other, cuddling, and she's really, really gentle with him, which is a pleasant surprise. She's always been really sweet with him. Coming home from you know a tough game or a loss, coming through the door and seeing your dog running to you, wagging her tail, smiling really big, and just wanting your affection and giving you hers is, is so rewarding, and it's a great way mentally to just kind of decompress and say, you know what, the game happened, now I'm at home, I have my, my dog dad duties um, and I'm going to focus on her and she's going to make me, you know, try and cheer me up a little bit uh, without even knowing what happened that night. Good girl. Good girl. Thanks for watching Meet the Pets, presented by Pepperoni. Bear, are you ready to go for a walk? Yeah? Let's go. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah.